In this lesson, you will learn how to quickly divide numbers by 5 in your head. In fact, by the end of the lesson, you will be able to perform this division in a matter of seconds. Now, the technique we'll examine can be applied in a variety of scenarios on the GMAT. So in addition to using it to divide by 5, you can also use it to calculate one-fifth of a number, as well as two-fifths, three-fifths, and so on. And you can use it to find 20% of a number. Now these scenarios occur frequently on the GMAT. So if you can perform these calculations quickly and accurately, you'll save yourself some time on test day. Now the technique requires only two steps that can be performed in your head. The first step is to take the dividend and double it. Now what's the dividend? That's the part that you are dividing by 5. So here the dividend is 235 since we're dividing 235 by 5. Once you have doubled the dividend, the next step is to take the result and move the decimal place one space to the left. Let's try a few examples. To divide 235 by 5, we'll take 235 and double it to get 470, and then we'll take the decimal place, which is assumed to be here, and move it one space to the left to get 47.0. So 235 divided by 5 is equal to 47. Here's another one. To divide 31.1 by 5, we'll take 31.1 and double it to get 62.2. .2. Then we'll move the decimal place one space to the left to get 6.22. Here's one more. To divide 1.7 by 5, we'll take 1.7 and double it to get 3.4. And then we'll move the decimal place one space to the left to get 0.34. Now to understand why this technique works, you first need to recognize that moving the decimal place one space to the left is exactly the same as dividing a number by 10. For example, to divide 830 by 10, we just move the decimal place one space to the left to get 83. Similarly, 26.9 divided by 10 is equal to 269 and 1.34 divided by 10 is equal to 0 0.134. In every instance, dividing by 10 is exactly the same as moving the decimal place one space to the left. Okay, now given this, let's examine a calculation we performed earlier. To divide 31.1 by 5, we first multiplied 31.1 by 2, and then we took the result and essentially we divided it by 10 to get 6.22. In other words, we took 31.1 and multiplied it by 2, and then we divided the result by 10. At this point, we can see that this part of our fraction, 2 over 10, can be simplified as follows. So as you can see, doubling a number and then dividing it by 10 is exactly the same as dividing that number by 5. Okay, now that you know why the technique works, let's have you try a few more examples. What about 3.6 divided by 5? I'll give you 5 seconds to find this answer. Well, first we'll double 3.6 to get 7.2, and then we'll take the result and move the decimal place to get 0 0.72. Here's another one. Here we'll double 6.04 to get 12.08, and then we'll move our decimal place one space to the left to get 1.208. Alright, now that you're familiar with the technique, I won't show the steps anymore, and I'll give you three seconds for each question. First, 121 divided by 5. This equals 24.2. Next, 0 0.44 divided by 5. This equals 0 0.088. And finally, 34.15 divided by 5. This is equal to 6.83. Okay, that's how to quickly divide numbers by 5. Be sure to practice this technique a few more times so that you never forget it.